Hey, it's Joseph here. Seems like I'm on a streak because I have another box to open. So box inside of the box, and it is another Dell product. I recently reviewed Dell XPS 13 inch two in one and yet another Dell device here. And because you have seen the title and the thumbnail, you know what this is. It's Dell Inspiron 13 inch. So why have I bought a same size laptop? So there is a charger, unlike XPS. It's just hanging out at the top of the box. And there is a pen, unlike XPS, where I actually had to buy it separate. And the power cable. I probably won't be using this charging cable since I have USB-C power delivery port. And supposedly this laptop works with power delivery. So I don't really need this one, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. And then laptop is just loosely in the box inside of this packaging. And the manual, warranty, regulatory information, put that back in there. And perhaps even the charger. And let's go ahead and open the pen as well. The packaging looks exactly the same as the pen for XPS, except it is white. But inside, it looks slightly different. So there's just a pen, nicely like that. And then the battery and some manual information. So unlike the other pen that I had for XPS, there's no lanyard, there's no tip remover, nothing. The quadruple A battery that is hard to buy, but uh, one is included under the plastic. If you ask me why I am packaging it nicely back into one box, I don't know which laptop I'm gonna keep, so at least one of them is gonna be returned. So I wanna make sure I have all the packaging. And I guess you just kind of pull this or twist. Oh yeah, this one you twist. And then just put the battery in, plus inside, minus on the outside, and then I guess you just twist that back in. All right, the pen is ready. The pen is actually smaller, but it feels good on the hand. So the pen is ready. Okay, let's open this packaging. It's just held by tape. Even the packaging really is different. XPS is the flagship top of the line laptop for Dell. So yeah, there's a difference in packaging as well. I actually bought this off of Best Buy on a good deal. So the pricing really worked out for me. So if the build quality and if it is suitable for my workflow, this is gonna be it. It kind of is a shade of gray, I would say. So dark gray because of it's got sheen to it. But supposedly this is black or at least the color that they sell or say that it is, is black. And just simple Dell logo on top with a hinge on the back. And then the ports, the IOs are micro SD card on one end, half on jack, USB-A port, which the XPS did not have. Inevitably, I'm going to be comparing to, aren't I? I actually have the laptop sitting right here, so I'm kind of looking at it too, but I'm not going to show it because this is not meant to be the comparison video. I'll just mention what's going on here first. So there is a barrel plug for power with a LED power indicator and then full size HDMI port and then a USB-C Thunderbolt port. So that is apparently a recent addition where the previous revisions of Inspiron 13 did not have that. To be specific, this is Inspiron 13 inch 7000 series, which is a higher end of Inspiron series. So let me go ahead and open this. So something that is immediately apparent is a pen garage. And that is a really good feature as you can just store your pen like this and then stow it away. Unlike some other solutions where you attach the pen on the side magnetically. So that is a nice feature. One hand operation is a little bit difficult. In here, it states that it's got fingerprint reader and then 4K UHD screen. 
and then also active pen support which was included in the box and then Dell Mobile Connect which not really bothered Dell Cinema again I'm not bothered but it does have Core i7 of 10th gen other than that the keyboard seems to be a usual configuration a fully pressable it's not the clicky buttons and again this is two in one device so you can kind of flip it like this and in this mode you can also access the pen that is here so i can write something on the laptop and do the pen input so that is dell's inspiron 13 two in one 7000 series that is a mouthful the touchpad feels good and then there is the power button on the corner with the fingerprint sensor which i'm not going to press at this moment and on the bottom i see a speaker grill along with the heat vents probably you draw air from here here are two rubber feet and there is a longer rubber on the back and some screws here i suppose i can open that to gain access inside so that was a quick unboxing of Dell Inspiron 13 7000 series 2-in-1. Although a long name, I just wanted to kind of cover that on this video. So stay tuned for my next video where I review both of these devices at the same time against my daily workflows, the architectural design, and just regular tasks that I do daily. Anyways, if you have liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for continue watching these type of videos videos and also the comparison video and thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye